Hello and welcome to our next video of uh, control engineering. This time we are talking about transfer elements. The basis of transfer elements. What is a transfer element? Transfer element yeah, is some sort of a system. Okay, Transfer element is some sort of a system. So I had to have some system here. And this system does have a bunch of inputs. Okay. So there is there's one input to the system, there is one input to the system, there's another input to the system, pack, pack, pack. There are a lot of input. There might be a lot of inputs to the system. Okay. So I'll name them, I will name them XI1, XI2, XI3 and x, i, n. And they all might depend on time. They don't need to be constant, they might vary somehow. Okay? And if something is going inside the system, something else is coming out. Okay? So a system might also have a number of outputs. So they're not only the xi's, they're also xo's. xi1, also from time, x output 2 from time, x output 3, and x output m. Does not need to be the same amount, that's a system. Yeah? And what the system is doing yeah, is whatever it comes inside here is somehow producing what is going out. Thinking about our control engineering of our control loop, this picture again, okay, think about this, this and this might be systems. They can be seen as systems. Something is going inside, something is coming out. Okay, so the control system, for instance, there's the correcting variable, yeah, there are disturbances, these are all inputs to the control system, and the output is the controlled variable. On the control itself, inputs are control deviation, disturbances, output is the correcting variable. Okay. These are in and outputs, right? According to systems theory. Okay. And this is what we are going to talk about. We are going to we're going to try to describe our control system and our controller as a system in the system theory. Okay. We're going to describe them as linear. So the system needs to be linear. What does it mean, linear system? Linear system means whatever comes out here yeah, is derived from whatever goes in here. Okay? If the same thing, but a little bit more, let's say double as double, the same inputs just doubled in size will produce the same outputs also doubled in size. That's linear. Okay, this means the system is always reacting the same way, yeah, with the same time constants, with the same things it answers, but just scaled. If there is a small input, there's a small output. If there's a big input, there's a big output. And if there's an even bigger input, there's an even bigger output. Okay, and it's scaled, so it's linear. This means double input means double output, triple inputs means triple output, and so on. Yeah. Well, we know in reality linear systems are not always given. Yeah. I will write here react, react, 
always the same but scaled. Okay, scale to the input. Same, same, but different. <laughs> so we know this in reality, this is not happening. Yeah. Let's think about, let's think about the speed controller in our car. Yeah. If you're climbing up a hill, then the speed will drop. And at one point in time, our system, the output of our controller will be full throttle. Yeah. And if this is not enough, yeah, the output will not be twice time full throttle because it's not makes doesn't make sense. So then suddenly we are not linear. Okay. We always have to keep this in mind this, that such constraints yeah, are not covered by our system theory we are going to use. So if there are non-linear elements inside, like said, some limitations, yeah, maximum maximum power or something like this, then we might run into an issue. Yeah? Then this is not covered by the system theory. Okay? And another thing which needs to be yeah, is we have a reactionless system. Reactionless What does this mean? Does it mean there is no reaction? Even the, No, no, no. It means whatever is happening on the output does not influence our input. If we only see it this system, maybe outside, okay. Yeah, if there is some loop outside, okay, then it might be. But just if you watch at the system, we will not change the input, the output. So there is a certain input. An output is resulting and this output does not react back, does not somehow influence the input again. Okay? If the output is influencing somewhere something else and this is this is okay. But the system itself, there is no backfiring in the system. Yeah? Reactionless system. Yeah? Non-reactive, uh, rückwirkungsfrei in German. Yeah? This so this means Outputs do not influence inputs. Whatever is happening there is happening there and nothing will be stirred here. Reactionless system. So these two things need to be met. Linear system Rückwirkungsfreie System, linear system, reactionless system. Like said, linear system is not always given in reality. We have to take care that it, this is system theory is only valid for the linear part. And the reactionless system is also not always given in, in, in reality. Let's think about let's think about our house. We want to warm our house, yeah? our system is our house, and we want we are heating it up. Yeah? So there is heating power going inside yeah, and the output is the room temperature. And another input, the disturbance, is the outside temperature. Okay? The, the outside temperature, if it's cold outside, it will disturb our system and I need to react on this. Clear. Yeah? And now, now I heat up our system and our system yeah, and our system, our house, is warming the surrounding. So our my disturbance, which is an input, is directly, directly influenced by the output, by the room temperature. Yeah? So this is not reactionless. Yeah? However, these are minor things. Yeah? So we can say, hey, I mean, if it's cold outside, it's cold outside. And I'm not, if I'm heating the inside, it will get a little bit warmer outside, but this is not noticeable. So it's, it's kind of reactionless. Yeah. And this is then why we still can use this 
this uh, system theory okay, we are going to develop. So these are two things. Yeah? Transfer element, system, which is transferring the inputs to an output. Yeah? System must be linear and reactionless. Linear reacts always the same but scaled. Double input means double output. Yeah? Reactionless system means whatever is on the output will not influence the input. These are transfer elements. Next time we want to describe, reach a mathematical description of this system here. Yeah? Next time we are talking about this mathematical behavior or this, mathematic, mathematical, math, this mathematical background. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.